Hi, this is Tyler from Second Swing Golf here at the 2015 PGA Show. We're lucky enough to have with us today Luke Williams from Callaway Golf talking about the XR family of woods. Luke, can you tell us a little bit about the driver? Absolutely. So, like all of our XR line, this driver comes in two flavors. We've got a standard model and a pro model. Both feature our R Moto face technology, which is something that we introduced last year with our 815 drivers. Um, it allows us to take weight out of the face, make the face as hot as possible, and also save weight that you can redistribute elsewhere in the head. With our XR line, it's, it's really a key element is a speed story. So we're trying to help golfers create more ball speed to get more distance. In the standard XR drivers, one of the ways we do that is with our speed step crown. It's an aerodynamic feature on the crown that makes the, that reduces drag, makes the club more aerodynamically efficient. So you're able to swing it faster. You can generate more club head speed, you can generate more ball speed, and that translates into distance. The, this, the Pro model is a little bit different than the standard. It's 440 cc's versus 460. Um, in this line, the Pro model <coughs> excuse me, has a forged composite crown. That helps us get the center of gravity lower. So that's a really low spinning driver. Works for better players, typically. Um, and, but because of the two, uh, we're able to fit a wide range of golfers just within our XR line. Sounds like, as you said, you know, pretty much the XR driver is all about speed, right? Yeah, that's it. Which is Singular awesome, and focus. which kind of segues us into the XR fairway wood. You know, last year the X hot, X2 Hotline was one of the longest fairway woods on the market. Yep. It sounds like you've made even some improvements here. Yeah, we Tell have. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, happy to. So, the XR, two years ago when we introduced X Hot, we brought forged hyperspeed face cups to the market. And we really believe it's the best technology for generating ball speeds in fairway woods and, and hybrids. And we'll talk about the rest of the line here in a minute. Um, so, but we've continued to refine that, you know, it's only been two years. So we've had, we've learned some things, we've continued to refine. So we've got a new face, um, same type of technology, just improved to make it even faster and improve ball speeds all across the face. Again, a standard and a pro model. We've got a huge array of lofts. Um, so we have a standard pro again, a little bit smaller, a little easier to work, tends to be for better players. We also have a three deep again in this line. So that's for players that tend to hit their fairway wood primarily off the tee. Um, the standard is typically designed for a player that, that uses it more off the fairway than off the tee. Occasionally we'll hit a tee shot that uses it a lot on par fives, long par fours. Um, and then the pro, kind of fits in between, so it's more of like a 50-50 club. Awesome, awesome. And so lastly, in the Woods line, we've got the hybrid, and I've heard that this is as hot a hybrid as there is on the market today. Yeah, so <clears throat> last year, our X2 hot hybrid, we felt, um, really stood out in performance relative to what we've had in the past, relative to what else was in the market. And the reason was, is we had taken face cup technology from our fairway woods into our hybrids for the first time. So we saw that same type of leap and improvement um, and distance gains. So this year, you know, trying to design a better hybrid was a, was a challenge because we had, we had had a good one last year and it was the best selling hybrid in the market. So we really kind of started from square one. We still wanted to use the key technologies that really drove the performance of X2 Hot. So this has again a forged hyperspeed face cup, but the shapes are entirely different. And that's allowed us to increase the MOI of these. So the uh, the Pro model in this line has MOI is higher than last year's standard model. Wow. So we're able to make them more forgiving, easier to hit, um, while also lowering the center of gravity. And that's, that's not an easy trick. Usually you give up one or the other. So if you're trying to chase the center of gravity down, usually give up some MOI. We've been able to do both and really make an outstanding performer that, that is significantly better than last year's. You know, what Luke mentioned right away at the beginning, and it holds true throughout the family, is the XR line is all about speed. But it's also very important to get fit, to find the right loft, shaft, flex for you. Stop into Second Swing Golf to get fit for your XR line today.